am so relieved, Howard. Did you see the papers this morning? What is it? Mario Cuomo is not going to run for president. Yeah, I guess because he wouldn't win. I guess he figured it out. <laughs> I think on this national tour, he got the idea yeah. that it would be a much bigger job yeah. than he ever thought it would be. He couldn't handle it anyway. People started criticizing his speeches. Yeah, and that he doesn't like. Yes. Well, he's real thin-skinned, our governor. He does not like criticism at all. No, he cannot deal with it. And he usually thinks that it has something to do with his ethnic background. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're not criticizing because you're Italian. They're criticizing you because you're a moron. <laughs> but that was it. He decided that uh, he is not going to run, and he announced it yesterday. <laughs> Did you hear somebody Statement. screaming out in the hall? What was that? Oh, God, that was Richard <laughs> Sell. Hi! I did, that. <laughs> did you hear that? Did that yes, come out over I, the air? I heard, well, I don't know if you heard it, but everyone here did, and we're in a sealed room. <laughs> we're in a soundproof booth. Wow! Wow! wow. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Here it is. There's no stopping him now. The Richard Simmons Show. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. <laughs> I could hardly get out of bed today. Wait a minute. What? David Hartman's last day. I could hardly Oh, you're upset. Oh, oh, David Hartman's a schmo. Yeah. Hi, hi. How you doing? Hey, look who's here. Look. Sal Pacino. Hi. I know, Mr. Mr. Pacino. Pacino. All right. He's a very young looking man. He is. Better looking than his I brought, son. I brought breakfast. Oh, what are we having I for breakfast? I brought bagels. Oh, well, I thought you can't eat I bagels. Orange juice. You eat bagels? Well, you know what? If you come to New York, he's trying to and make us fatty. You don't a bagel. You get like a rash between your legs. So I always have a little bagel. I you have a rash between your legs, Richard? No, he's no, eating his bagel. Hey, Richard Here. Simmons! Uh -oh, it's, it's <laughs> hey, put your uh, pants on. Come here, come here, give me your hug. <laughs> oh, God, it's so good to see you. <laughs> so I don't think this hug is going to end this century, folks. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Wait a Get out of here! Uh, he just kissed me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were kissing back, Howard. Hey, well, good morning, everybody. You know, good morning, Richard. <laughs> good morning. You know, now I'm awake. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't awake before. Oh, God. Oh, now, man. We are here this morning. What kind of morning. perfume are you wearing? Now, listen, stop. are you going to be nice today? No, 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 I'm being real nice. What kind of perfume are you wearing? What kind of bagel would you Where's like? that perfume? I won't even bagel. I have. You know, I, you know, he doesn't really know how to diet. No. He doesn't. I bet you're going to get fat again. No, no, no. If you have a half a bagel, that's really, that's one portion of bread by Weight Watchers and by my food program. And put a, if Weight Watchers like, is crap. Now, don't wait a say minute. that. You half a bagel, and now, then what do you do? You're still hungry. You stop. Howard, don't you, listen you to that. Juice? No, thank you. I wouldn't even drink juice. juice. juice? I would eat the no, whole fruit. You. I wouldn't just drink the fruit juices. So how have you been? <laughs> he doesn't listen to me when it comes we to diet. We can't tell him anything. You know, I'm like a diet maven. Yeah. Now, let me tell you the reason we're, we're in New York. I'm yeah. sure you want to know. Yeah, just interrupt everything, Richard. Well, we were doing the news, Richard. We were talking about Governor Cuomo not running for president, thank God. You know why he doesn't want to run? Why? Well, I really think kind of he's kind of a, a scared to lose, don't you think? Yeah, I because think he's a moron and no, he doesn't know what minute. he's doing. How Howard, stop it. No, he's I a total really, dick. I really think that he's... Sto oh. Howard, what? stop that. He has done some very nice things. What? Name like one. That. Name one. He loves New York. He doesn't want to move to Washington. He wants to stay here. <laughs> so I think it's really nice. Well, he'd like to be president without having it. What happens is he gets one of his speeches criticized. He's like a big baby. Yeah, he starts screaming, they're, they're, they're after me because I'm Italian. It has nothing to do with the fact that he's Italian. Howard. We love Italians. Howard. Thank Tell them, Mr. Pacino. Thank you. Thank yes. <laughs> Howard. Yes. Do you have a grandmother or a grandfather? Oh, don't bring that up. Jesus, I can't believe you just said that. No, oh, why? What happened? No. Last night my grandparents were killed in a... Oh, now stop it! <laughs> Howard, that is a horrible thing to say. No, I'm not kidding. Last night... No, don't you watch Twilight somewhere if you wish something hard enough it happens. Now, you Let... know your grandparents did not die last, last night. Last night my parents died in a 
My grandparents died in a car accident. Oh, Howard, stop he that! He's gonna bring it up. Can't believe you brought it up, man. Oh. You know, you know, you just so you know. No, wait, no, 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 are they not? Of course not. What do you mean, of course not? Whose grandparents not? are alive? Wait a moment. You know why we were in town? But your grandparents are alive? Oh, mine? Yeah. No, because my mother had me when she was 45, and my father had me when he was almost 60. Wow. Oh, I was a change-of-life baby. Well, my mother, the truth of it, my mother had five children yeah. that didn't live. She had an RH factor disability. And then she had my brother, and then she had a hysterectomy, and it didn't work, and I got born. That's incredible. Oh, good for you. So my grandparents would see why we're why, why we did she carry you in a Gucci bag? <laughs> why? Hey, let me say something. Let me say why something. we why why that we is the worst. By the way, you ever, I had a friend whose mother was like like sixty years old, and, he, and we, we were like thirteen. That is the worst thing in the world to go through as a child. I, my, my, my 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 the heart goes out to you. No no no. I'm that glad I had parents who I was he a change a of my baby. Because whenever we used to walk around, this this kid's father was like seventy years old, and mm. they'd go, "Hey, is that your grandfather?" Yeah, well, that happened to me too. But you yeah. know what? What? Our country, and let's be really honest here. Man, you I think tan. we should. I think we should. Well, I'm trying out for the Eddie Murphy story. I, <laughs> I'm trying. Listen to me. I Look, think he's eating butter. You know what? That is not out? butter. What is that? That is not butter. What is it? You can have one teaspoon of cream cheese in the morning. Oh man! And it's part of your food program. Well, you're a mess. Now listen to me. <laughs> you know, I got to teach you, know you how to diet. I'm what? not kidding. There is a movie coming up that you could do, Little yeah. Richard. The Little Wants Richard movie. his life story. Now listen. <laughs> the reason, you can't get anyone to do it. The reason we're in New York is because we are here to honor all the silver foxes of New York. Because you know what? People around the country... Don't call old people silver foxes. I don't like the word elderly. Do you like the word elderly? I do, because that's what they are. They're old. Stop it! Howard! They are, they're old. Howard, stop let's it! Let's call a spade a spade. Yeah, let's call it. <laughs> We don't treat our senior citizens with the, enough respect as we should. I got my own problems. I'll sit and worry about the senior citizens you know, trying to make a living. A they want I wish I could move retire. To Japan. You're they not like kidding. The oh, now, Why don't we take all our senior citizens now, and move them to Japan? Let me ask you. That's, when, it. That's a good plan. Yeah. I'm stop it. For that. I can. Sal. I am Sal, telling you. Sal. Sal. Help me with this. Sal, what do you think? You're going to get in trouble here. <laughs> hey, Sal, I hear you're pretty sick of all Sylvester, the, Stone, Sylvester Stallone's mother. All the silver foxes in New York <laughs> unite yeah, against this program. Silver on Madison foxes. Avenue. <laughs> no, seriously. We don't. Do, are your grandparents alive? No. Not? Are anybody see your grandparents alive? Robin doesn't really know if her grandparents are alive. <laughs> No, I know that She's been in touch with her family in the last seven years. <laughs> I wonder no. if my parents are alive. We no. have been we have been taking a tour all around the United States, and we. I know we've seen you on every TV been, show. Wait a minute, it finally been, got to us. We've been going to all retirement homes. We've been giving them a VCR because we have this new tape. Let up. me say something about your son. Scarface was the best damn movie oh, I ever saw. Wonderful. Thank you. I, I think so. Too. Your son's a great, genius. Great. Thank you. How come you sit, being so nice to him? Well, what do you mean? I walk in, it was like garbage in my face. He walks in, and you're getting on your knees for Scarface. Well, come on. <laughs> Mr. Pacino, come on. This I want to get on my knees. That's why I'm Mr. Pacino, please, I'll do anything to pleasure you. Okay. Mm. Uh-oh. I see a rattlesnake. <laughs> no, stop Wait, it. It's going to bite me. Oh, a bite. Oh, ow. It bit me. Now, Ooh, somebody sucked the venom out. Stop. <laughs> what? Howard. What? Now listen to me. Oh, come on. I'm gonna die. So we have done this new we have done this new video and it's for people fifty five and over. And everybody should buy their grandmother or their grandfather an exercise tape. Yeah, and right. they can sit and watch it. Yeah. No, we've been around the country. Watch your grandmother have a heart attack. <laughs> you were so bad. This is a new you plan so for you to inherit their wealth early. Howard, when help the... me. Help me to just watch the rest of the Simmons. Howard. Oh, oh, where's my respirator? Howard, 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 what? Howard, all right, wait, everything's fine. Howard, now listen, when's the last time you helped 
a silver citizen across the street. Oh, please. Never. I'm mean, first of all, they don't they resent you if you do it. No, they don't. You go up to people. I know one time I'll go up and help somebody, they'll start yelling at me that I'm trying to rob their purse. Wait a minute. Tell Richard about the fight you got into on that plane. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'll tell you the last time I helped a silver citizen. <laughs> that was the last time I helped a silver citizen too. Silver citizen. Old bag is what it was. I'm Stop sitting on, that. I'm on a I'll flight to, to California. I'm on a flight to was it to California? I was I on think a flight. You were going to California oh. or Florida? Oh yeah, I was going on to Sarasota where everybody's old. <laughs> you know, excuse me, Mr. Pacino, because you happen to be a young uh, old person. Well, Mr. Person. Pacino's <laughs> birthday was just Monday, and he was 65 years old. That's 65 incredible. years young. Doesn't look it. And you look like you're 40. I swear you're to very God. Very vitalized. Thank you. Thank see you. that? You married? No. You must get babes like crazy. Just he's like got a about... <laughs> he's got a lovely girlfriend named yeah? Janet. How old? She's How old? 38. 38. Oh, you're Janet. Ooh, no, man. You look so young. Oh, man, you must love she has that. She to help me across the street. <laughs> Good Lord Almighty. We want to help. But wait a minute. Wait, you got to listen to this story. This is how... No, because this will be an ugly story. No, he'll, this... say, he'll say something ugly about silver citizens. No, no, no. This, this silver citizen goes, I'm, I'm six foot five, right? <laughs> so I'm sitting there on the plane, and I'm trying... There was no leg room. There was no first class. Of course, I only ride first class, mm -hmm. but this was the uh, exception, if you will. So I'm riding in there, and this old guy... Oh, an old woman, Robin. Yes. It's been, it happened a couple of years ago. <laughs> this old woman starts to back her seat into my knees. I said to her, well, excuse me, lady. But, of course, you had a hearing. Excuse me. I'm on a plane. I have leg. I need leg room. She goes, my back is hurting me. Then you should have rubbed it. I said, your back is hurting you? I said, you see my knees are getting crushed here? I said, you could sit normal in a chair. You don't have to sit back just because you're old. Well, a fight ensued. Her husband got up, tried to punch me. I hit him right in the face. I decked him. Oh, Howard, you didn't. I act. decked him. Ho Howard. You dick. Howard, stop <laughs> that. Give me that tape. Howard. No, get out of here. <laughs> Sit down. That that's my tape. It's my personal property. <laughs> but that's how he relates to the elderly. <laughs> no, seriously. We've been traveling. Now, let's get... Well, because, you know, so let me tell you something. Howard, just because a person get gets old doesn't mean they don't have to, they, they, they have to be rude to young people. <laughs> I'm well, going to tell you right now. Maybe you should now. be a little more patient. If God Mr. lets Pacino, you... Mr. Pacino, you got to admit... If a young guy needs some leg room, the, the woman could be, just because she's old, I'm supposed to acquiesce? Maybe she was in pain. Who knows? Maybe we should sacrifice a little of our if time. If she's in to pain, she shouldn't be on a citizen. plane. <laughs> Tell her to sit home with her grandchildren, you old bat. Howard. What? Howard. What? Now listen to me. <laughs> oh, you're so bad. <laughs> you're so bad. <laughs> By the way, yes, isn't it great to have Richard Simmons on? Howard, listen oh, yeah. to me. Wait a minute, stop. <laughs> Howard, we were in Indianapolis yesterday, and we exercised some people who were 100 years old. Oh, God they, almighty. And they did. They stretched. The tape is very low impact, and it's very safe. Wait, did you move? them yourself? Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. You all are horrible. I can, I can tell, I can tell you don't have grandparents. I mean, stop it. Yeah, I'll tell you something about my grandparents. My grandfather didn't leave me a do Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He left me a hundred dollars, a token of his appreciation. I had some grandparents. Maybe he didn't have a lot Both of money. Both grandparents could barely speak English. Oh, dear. They didn't leave wills to leave me any money. One of them left me a Maybe will. Maybe but... they didn't have a lot of money, Howard. No, they didn't. They were all failures. And I no, got news for you. stop it. Howard. No one's a failure. We all, we all in no life. No one's. My grandfather slept in a closet. That's where I met him. Well, in a closet. <laughs> Look at him. No, we really want. We're talking. Poor Mr. Poor Mr. Pacino. Well, Mr. Thinks, Pacino thinks is... he stepped into a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did it. Then. I Mr. Pacino, so where, is, you, where is your son, Mr. Nightmare, Pacino, yeah. if I may ask you one question about your son? After all, I mean, he's such a great actor. Where the what hell, is what is he doing? doing? What is well, he doing? Well, he's reading a lot of scripts right now, and he's yeah. about to determine what, what he's going to be doing. He's yeah, because we miss him. He's pretty selective. He's one of the few people I have something nice to say about. Well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> he's a great actor. But Scarface, I've seen seven times. I love that movie. Excellent movie. Yeah. yeah. It was great. Excuse me, Stop. Mr. Pacino. Justice for All. Justice for All. Dog Day Afternoon. Dog Day Afternoon. And Justice for All. For all, I saw it twice. I love that movie. And of course, the God. Da 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 da
Fair Fawcett's mother was just 74. Wow. I'm 65, and uh, Jackie Stallone, I believe, is about approximately my age. And we're all in pretty good shape. You're and in damn be, good shape. I should look so good. Because they exercise no matter what age you are, Howard. You can't start now, though. Yes, you can. Yes, you Low can. impact. Oh. Hop. Out, out. I mean, talk to them, Sal. I, I can't deal with His this. His name is morning. Sal, not Al. Al is the son, Richard. <laughs> I can't deal with Richard's this. Richard's got Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. He doesn't even know who he's with. I can't. Now, <laughs> don't make fun of Alzheimer's. Oh, nothing is sacred. <laughs> nothing is sacred. And we all should really behave because it's David Hartman's last day. Stop that! I Howard, hate David Hartman. He's a dick. Oh, Howard, now don't Ask say Mr. that. Ask Mr. Pacino if he likes it. If, if, if people liked uh, David Hartman, he would have still had ratings. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, wait, the ratings are pretty good in that station. There really? Are three people out there crying. <laughs> yeah, people are crying. That guy, first of all, are you... Mother, his father. <laughs> first of all, he was a bad actor. Uh, uh, Sal Pacino would know this. Yeah. Uh, David Hartman was a bad actor who luckily got to do an interview show because his career would have been over. Howard, can't some things remain sacred? No, oh, of course they can. Now, anyway, so t tomorrow, today we're going to a, a senior... A, a recreational center in Brooklyn. Oh, well, that's going to be fun. And we're going to, there'll be about. <laughs> oh, man, oh, can I go with you? Be, Howard, you know what? They'll break up the arts yeah. and crafts festival Howard, where they're using those popsicle Howard, sticks to make Robin, baskets. Oh, wait a minute. Robin, wait a minute. Get, the, get the address of that place. When I get old, I want you to put me there. <laughs> Howard, Howard, I'm going to ask. Now, listen. What? what is it, wallet or pot? 98% Italian, I understand. Yes. I may meet my grandparents yet. Ooh. Really? Howard, well, you do not, I have never asked to do a favor for me. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Anything. Now, wait a minute. I'm Howard. not going to see old Wait people. a minute. No way. Howard, right, wait a minute. Be great. Ask. Uh, you know, a lot of people, <laughs> yeah. Howard, a lot of people out there listen to you, and there's no age barrier to who listens to you, and there's a lot of silver foxes out there who really silver like you. Silver foxes. And, you know, if somebody called me a silver fox, I'd shoot myself. <laughs> Howard, will you, will you come with me? Where? Will you come with me to Brooklyn tonight? No, absolutely not. No, look at me. No, absolutely not. Howard? <laughs> absolutely not. I'm not going to sit there and exercise. Go. Go. I'm not going to exercise go. a bunch go. of old go. farts. Oh, stop that. That's Don't you true. Ever. Howard. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 this is really good. <laughs> Howie, listen. Ooh, you're touching my nipple. Stop. No, Howard, stop. Howard, stop that. Oh, he's so bad. Now, listen to me. He wants me. Howard, listen. Shh, listen. What? Will you please go with me? I really mean this. What? Now, we're, we're friends. I'm busy. I really do have a meeting. No, what time don't. are you going? We're, we are, <laughs> do I have a meeting? I really honestly got there. We, we are friends. Yes. We've known each other for quite you a while. You want to know what I have to now. do this afternoon, Robin? I have to go work out, believe it or not. Wait a minute. Now, you, we were talking about this I want you to sacrifice that workout. No. I want you to sacrifice Absolutely. the workout, the workout with the to come to Brooklyn. First of all, go sit down in your chair and get your arms off. No, wait a minute. I'm just Wait a minute. Man's on his like knees in front of me. Well, Howard, now listen to Richard, me. Richard, calm down. Wait, Howard, take off your glasses. He's begging. <laughs> Come on. Howard, take him off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> would you please go with me? I mean, I haven't ever asked you to do anything before, and I'm just asking if you would really go and help me make these. All right, let me think about them. Howard, it would be like the Wizard of Old. You could go and work with the old, the little old. Oh, no, it's, it's going to be so wonderful. Old. If any day you can make somebody feel good and positive, I just think. Let me say so something. That's your shtick. Uh, running no, around with the old people. And, and let's it's face not it. The, it's not a shtick, and I don't. I just want to help these people, and they need it. They God need God forbid. To, I know those thought exercises. Someone will croak on me. <laughs> No, they won't. I, listen, I've been about but 200 the retirement homes, house. and no one's died while I was there. Now, a few died when I left. Hardly <laughs> <laughs> ever. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down and you we'll think talk about, about it. Wait, I have it. Why don't we have some people call up, and they should tell us if... If, if, if you right. should go. Can I do a commercial break first? What is it? Let's so do I can it live. Network, so I can network myself with Sal Pacino? Okay, now listen. Let's. It, what is the telephone number? Hey, by the way, I, if, you, if your son has a role for me in his next movie, really, I'd like you to talk to if, him a little what bit is, about What is the number they can call? You want us to give the number up? Yeah, yeah, let me give, give the number. <laughs> it's one... Nine four three that five three nine seven. That is not it. That is not it. All right, that's the game hotline. That's a different area code. <laughs> All right. Give me the give us give me the real number. One <laughs> five <laughs> six three <laughs> nine. <laughs> 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 Howard, I want people to call and, and, and support me in wanting you to go to this senior citizen home to exercise. Look at nice how people. perfect his hair is, Howard. Who does your hair? Oh. That's that uh, <laughs> hair transplant. It looks terrible. Oh, stop it. Or, 
<laughs> Aren't you going to say anything nice to the... Oh, he bit me! Stop it! Stop that! Yeah. Watch it, Richard. Want, He's turning blue. I want people to call up if you support hey, Richard, us. You know what they uh, fed Liberace? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> so, I don't want any Liberace jokes. Isn't anything sacred? Is anything sacred? He oh. has so many ah. people. <laughs> Poor Liberace, so what about me? I'm almost dead here. <laughs> he helped so many people. He, my was, arm. he was a great entertainer. He was the, no, yeah. Forget about being an entertainer. The drag queen. He helped. So <laughs> Howard, Howard, take that back. I right, take, take that it back. back. You know take what this doctor? Back. I take it back. He helped. Do you know how many millions of dollars he gave to help Chip? <laughs> Howard! What happened? I don't Howard, know. now stop. I didn't do that. It Robin. It was not me. <laughs> We'll be back. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs> All right, Kenneth. I'm not going there. Oh, how? I don't want to go see a bunch of old people exercise. You know, we were talking the other day about yeah. improving your image. Hold on this a is a perfect thing. Who is this? Susan, good morning. Oh, Susan, please. Go away. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Who are you calling? I'm talking to now. Hello. Who is this? This Howard. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think you should do it, man. Oh, shut up, you imbecile. <laughs> oh, no, wait, don't hang. I don't want you to that hang up. That was my up. mother. I don't. What's that I hear was from not heart. your mother. Yes, it was. Was that really? No. Yeah. Oh, what is she, a dope calling here? How dare she? Get Why on can't I have a father like Mr. Pacino? It's just they're nice, babe. Can I yourself. talk? Can I, let, me, let me talk to someone without you hanging up. Get, give me yeah, one. Yeah, we will. People. i got to do a commercial first. Is that what okay? commercial is it? What is it, Susan? Hello, this is your mother. Oh, it oh. is my mother. Mom! Mom! Hi. Hi, hi, Mrs. Stern. Hi, Richard. I'm so happy to hear you're on Howard's show. You lead him to the right thing. Now, listen, don't you the think... The right thing. My mother... Oh, by the way, now my mother's a whole big expert. She was on David Brenner's with me the other night. You should see her with her friends. You mean I'm not an expert? It's Oh, I'm a big star now. Oh, I, it's radio. Mom. Radio is much different than television. Mom. <laughs> Mom. Don't you think it would be nice if Howard went to Brooklyn to work there? Absolutely, Richard. I taught him to be very charitable and very... Cool. First of all, let me tell you something about my mother. My mother doesn't even believe in exercise. She thinks I would, it's I stupid. I believe in exercise. She doesn't. She doesn't Howard, believe she's being a fake here. Would you like to go with your son, Mrs. Stern? No, she doesn't want to go anywhere. I Go anywhere my son wants me to go. Just sit home. <laughs> you do those exercises, have a heart attack. I'll lose you. Howard, what? Stop it. I know. It's good for you. He believes in charity. In high school, he did a lot of work. He joined the uh, the club. Key club, ma. The key club that did all. I went out and dressed like uh, I went out with a Salvation Army, Salvation Army. I'm very proud of you, Howard. I want everybody to know that, and I still froze my ass off for nothing. I'm rich. Oh. I see beneath that veneer of yours. I just, uh, if I could have, a, if I could have another brother, I would want it to be Howie. Hey, Richard just bit me, Ma. Because he really is a kind and sensitive person yeah. un under all of that, and that's why I know a lot of the seniors will listen to him in the morning because they make him, la they, you know, he laugh. They laugh. Yeah, they, oh yeah. Well, they do. They think you're very funny and very clever. Yeah, they and, really get my humor. Uh, <laughs> and if they see you, they will have the most wonderful time. Hey, Ma, guess who's here? Cool. Sal Pacino. Oh, how nice. Al Pacino's father. Say hello. This is Mrs. Stern. Hello, Mrs. Stern. How do you do? You two Fine, can actually you. relate to one another because, of course, I'm a big star and Al Pacino is a big star <laughs> in his own right. Are you still going course. to the, uh, the home with Richard? Yes, my mother's going to go and Mr. Pacino. But Richard's trying to going. commit Mr. Pacino and Mr. Pacino's <laughs> wrapped up in a lawsuit with him. Right Richard is <laughs> leaving his mother there. Yeah, Richard's going to dump his mother at the holiday job. Um, I love my mother so much. Hey, as I've told my mother, man. And if I she behaves herself, I'm going to put her in a deluxe old age home. That's a Maybe wonderful you place. Go there, Howard, to look it over for me. What? Maybe you ought to go there to look it over. For yeah, let's hope they serve good dog food. My mother has. Oh, no. Stop, Howard. Oh, no. Howard, what? my mother has a condominium there, and Mrs. Stern, anytime. You would like to come to Florida. I will personally pay for you to go to Florida yeah. and stay with my mother for a couple oh, days. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, that's sweet. Yes, they send the old Mrs. people there. Mrs. Stern, can I ask a question? <laughs> yes. Are, are you still married? Yes, I am still okay. married. Are you still married? She, to, she has you, sex. She barely has it. sex. Now. Are you? Are she's, you? She's like a nun. Are you still married to Howard's father? Right. Well, he raped her. Of course. Oh. Now stop it, <laughs> Howard. I mean, how does he feel about his son's success? He loves it. We both love it. Of course he loves it. We do. We 
we're very proud of Howard. Of course my father loves it. And I always felt that whatever Howard was going to do, he'd be successful at. I really did because he's a very good boy and he's a very sincere boy. This is, a, this is so emotional You know, she didn't interrupt once. No, when, when she's... Oh, no, no he, he wants it. <laughs> He wants to hear it. Okay, no, we're gonna get that all. We're gonna give Howard Stern when he gives us. Okay? Like, really, really, mommy. <laughs> 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 oh, you're horrible. Ugh. You're horrible. Oh, please, Ma, put a lid on it. What you Keep going, Mrs. My mother Keep never thought I'd be successful. I My mother has a jaded view of me. She doesn't even think I did drugs in the 60s. You didn't do drugs in the 60s. As soon as she left the house, I was down in the garage snorting anything I get my hands on. Howard, now, let's not talk about D-R-U-G-S, okay? Ask my, ask my mother how many times she gets it on my father. I'm dying enough. Oh, you know what? You can make love in many different ways. It doesn't have to be, you know... Really? The, the weenie area. Oh, you can really? make love in lots of the other ways. Weenie area. And I know that your mother makes love to your father by looking at him, by holding him, by, by talking with him. You just don't have to do it to make love. You should know that. Really, Ma? What? <laughs> <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> I think that was the weenie area. The morning. weenie area. Come here, you animal. I see another snake over there. Wait a second. But I'm just delighted that Richard is on the show. He's, he's a lot of fun. Favorite of mine. And 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 I think just so people know he's on his third bagel already. <laughs> I'm on my same bagel, yeah. my exact yeah. same bagel. Now Howard. Some diet he's on. Now you want Howard to go with us, don't you, Mrs. Stern? Absolutely. That's why I called. You better yeah. talk him into it. I'm not doing it. First of all, to see a bunch of old people. Exercise is disgusting. First of all, you go there one day, they exercise, and the next day they don't do anything. Howard. Tell him to go, Ray. Howard. Howard, you know what we did? You know what we did? We bought a VCR yeah. and a screen, and we gave it to the home, uh, to the center. <laughs> and and uh, Do me a favor if I get old. Shoot me. <laughs> and, and so now they can watch all the videos they want because they didn't have a VCR. Because Aww. a lot of these centers don't have any money. You know? Uh -huh. And yeah. and so we Carl Armar bought the VCR. <laughs> oh man! Stop it! I don't believe it. It's this. very nice. Well, you didn't buy them a focaccia VCR. <laughs> hey, I'm too busy. Okay, and I, I would have. And we're gonna. I I know. I know in my heart. I know you're gonna go. And I know you're gonna be. Ah, you're crazy. And I know that they're gonna just love you. Well, then you must still be on drugs because uh, you don't know me. Now I'm wait a minute. Your mother is though. talking. Before. What is it, mother? I said. Uh, Richard has spoken enough. He's given enough of himself now, Howard, and you should do the right thing and listen to Richard. If I do everything that everybody wants me to do, I'd be, I'd be busy 24 hours a day. I'm very tired. Well, Richard's special. Richard. Thank, thank you very much, Mrs. Strand. I hope that one day I So get what is it you want me to do? You want me to go to an old age home with you? You're going to go to a senior center. I wouldn't center. mind if it was here in Manhattan. Wait a minute. All the way to Brooklyn. Seniors from all over Brooklyn and all over some of the other boroughs mm -hmm. go to this center free of charge, and there's crafts, and there's exercise, and they... And there'll be photographers? And... I beg your pardon? There'll be photographers there? Well, that's not really very important. Is it is to me. If I'm going to do it, I want to, I want everyone to see that I'm doing Can't it. Can't you do something just from your H-E-A-R-T? No. -E I tried that one time. What was that? Remember in high school, my I volunteered at the CP Center? Uh -oh. Cerebral palsy? Well, I, I took that for about an hour. That's right. We Those CP kids were treating me horribly. I, oh, they were not. They were. Oh, they were yelling at me. And uh, they, they resented me because I could walk. Oh, Howard, now stop. <laughs> Howard, no, I'm being serious. They were mad at me. It was terrible. How? How could you say? That? They were mad at me, man. You know what? What happened when I came home from the CP center? Uh, you were upset because these kids were, you know, incapacitated. I couldn't take it. I was upset for them. But uh, I'm too emotional. But you know what? We <laughs> He's too emotional. we must. You too emotional. You deserve this. I'm too emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I just care about people too much. <laughs> I can barely <really> talk. <laughs> 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 Howard, Howard, you know yes, who's talking to you. Howard, yeah. calm down. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I have to uh, go do my exercises now. Oh. Okay. I love you, Mrs. Stern. Thanks so much for calling. Hi, Stern. All right, Thank you and for I'm calling. looking forward to meeting you, Richard. Okay, honey. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What a lovely mother. She's beautiful. What a lovely lady. She's all right.
Oh, please. No, she is nice. And you know what? She gave you very good motherly advice. She certainly did. Every did. day, if you're alive and you don't help somebody, that day is not complete. We're sitting here with Richard Simmons and Sal Pacino, yes. father of Al Pacino. Richard's going around the country with... Um, the Silver Foxes. The Sto uh, Jackie the Silver Stallone, Sylvester's and, mother, and, and unfortunately, Frank Stallone's mother, too. <laughs> Oh, no, wait. Because I'm sure that that's Frank Stallone has written a lot of good music for a lot of movies. Yeah, but nobody's listening to it. No, that's not true. All his brother Sly's movies. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's face oh, it. I mean, she I must confess believe. to you. I Mr. Pacino, it. does she ever say to you how embarrassed she is by Frank Stallone? No, she loves him very much. Well, I mean, maybe she loves him, but... Well, she's, he's her kid. What is she going to do? No, but I, I, I mean, know... Even my mother loves me. But... I know Frank, and he's a very nice and very creative. But you know what? Yeah, it's, it's very like, hard for him. It's hard to, to be Sylvester Stallone's brother it is you know, can't understand what he's talking about <laughs> no it's not that it's just uh, a... by the way we did a lot of exercise to his music remember mm -hmm. we surprised oh, yeah? jackie and in the middle of exercise says uh, richard richard that's frankie that's frankie <laughs> and he says i know i thought i'd surprise you right that's right had, had a state you should see this man. that was very kind of you richard, you should to play see this man right? <laughs> right? The only right. Person you are a good person you're, you're so hard this, this man this yeah. man is is, you is a wonderful Pacino. dancer mr pacino is a wonderful dancer well, Got a young girl. Can you go outside and find out what the, what the name of the, the retirement center? Ask Joanne, because I want to. If any of Howard Stern's listeners. Oh, please. Would get like, out of here. I'm not going to that. Howard, wait a minute. Can I just say a sentence without you saying ugly? You know, I've been doing this show now for over a year. Yes. And I have always been. And I've always been nice to you, you because, know, I've always because I been, love you. You're I've great. always been faithful, and I've yeah. always been here, and I don't ask you for much. Now, just because I sent you a lovely Christmas card oh, and, a lovely, and a lovely Richard Christmas present. Richard sent me a beautiful Christmas present. And never what got a card. It? I was too busy. Listen, it was very nice of you. Oh, it was too busy? I was too busy oh, okay. to send you a thank you. Now. Oh, okay. What That's was right. it? <laughs> Richard, I was busy. What do you want from me? I planned when I saw you, I knew you were coming in. I would thank you personally. With Howard, me. what did I send you? He sent me beautiful Tiffany champagne glasses. You're kidding. That's right. Never you never thanked him? What am I going to thank him? I never drink champagne. <laughs> what kind of thing is that? It's not for How champagne. You? It's for orange juice. Oh, is it for really? The morning. No, they're beautiful. I have been drinking from them. And let me say something. One thing about Tiffany. Why don't you just take Tiffany a sword? Is, Tiffany is full of worthless stuff. <laughs> stuff people can't use. But they got that name. Yeah. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why don't you just take a little sword and pierce my heart? Oh, I'm just Howard, kidding, of seriously. course. No, Richard, are you kidding? That was the nicest thing you could have done. To me. When, in fact, my mother, when she saw that Richard Simmons sent me a gift, yeah. she was says, she you know, that is, that is the nicest, well, this see, is the people, nicest man. People who were listening don't know that really that you and I are buddies and sometimes, you know, we'll go out you know, drinking, drinking, drinking milk. Together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going up to the milk bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Richard's nothing like he is on the air. When we, go, when we get off the air, he drops acid as soon as he gets off the air. Oh, now, don't <laughs> say <laughs> that. He does. He's still Snort like a 60s hippie. Oh, no, drugs. Snorts a lot of coke. <laughs> drugs are so awful. Oh, yeah, no, right. No, they are. We've seen you in the men's room. He's no, they, it's terrible. Yeah. He's been hanging around Washington Square. He wants to put all the dealers. That's what he's doing on my show. <laughs> Poor Richard comes in and goes, what the hell happened? I go down to Washington Square to score. I can't get a damn a, a hunk of crack. Now nothing. stop it. We don't want to talk about drugs <laughs> because kidding, of we have such a terrible drug problem. And I'm telling you, you should we get We do. Your, we can't get any anymore. No, Washington stop Square it. is. You no, can, let me you, say something. I never your, do drug humor because I tell the young people, never do drugs. That's right. But it's not right, Mr. Pacino. Please. Yes. Never do drugs. There you go. Yeah. Say no. Not, say I, don't no. Under, I don't understand how anybody can take drugs when there's food around. <laughs> right. There you go. Now, here's the address of the place. What place? If any, if anybody... I wish if, I didn't have a meeting this afternoon. No, you oh, go. I, I will call your agent, and I will call the owner call of this I'm station, and no. I will cancel that meeting, and <laughs> you will come here. And for anybody who's listening Very to the show, meeting. if you would like to come to Brooklyn and help us with to exercise these wonderful people who are our forefathers, Really, they are. When you think of who a senior citizen is, they're our forefathers. We're going to be at the Amico Amico. Senior oh, I'm not Amico. Going. I was going to say they're going to gas station. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't believe it. Nothing <laughs> sacred. Bring the nothing to a gas sacred. station. Let me Amico. smell the fumes. Amico means friends. Miss Ben Miller would say because you gotta have friends. Everybody, you say, I am friends. sure. 
Uh, First of all, you're not some Buzzy Linhart song. That's not a uh, Bette Midler song. Now, What's a bunch of old people vomit while they uh, exercise? Howard, Howard. <laughs> now you just listen to me for just oh, a second. slow down. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're already dead. <laughs> oh, wait a second. There's no heartbeat. Yes, I don't need... <laughs> I don't Mr. hear any heartbeat. Mr. Pacino, don't laugh at this. Did somebody shot this person already? Now listen, <laughs> Ho Howard. Oh, Howard, stop. God, that is Howard. What? Oh, Howard, stop that. <laughs> Howard, stop it right now. Do you know that when I walk down the street, construction workers say, they, they say, Richard, you were just on Howard Stern. He was so mean to you. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Sometimes no. you're mean. Well, that's out of hand asking me to go to some old age home. Let me tell you something. I think you should. I'm sure that's a very lovely old age home. As it's matter not fact. an old age home. It's a senior center. Right. Seniors from all Silver over the boroughs. Right. Yes. Silver Foxes. Well, let me just say something here. Of course, it's very nice. Old people are very nice. And I'm sure that's a lovely home. I'm sure, you know, it's most, not most a old home, age homes. It's a center. Let me tell you something, Robin. Most old, okay. old age homes. I just can't believe it. Most centers. <laughs> most centers, yes. Serve uh, what you call dog food oh, they, to the old people. They the do not. Service. They do not. They this do one, not. This one does not. This is a very <laughs> lovely old age home. It's uh, senior not an center. old. It's a senior Silver center. Silver Fox's center. No one lives there. They live in their own homes and they come uh, here every day and exercise. So and they, and they. It is so, not depressing. Oh. We have to help. People think it's depressing. We have to go and help them. I tell you what, if those people guarantee me they'll leave me $10,000 a piece oh, in the will, yeah, I'll man. just go up. Oh, Howard, stop it. I am so through with helping old people, old now, crotchety old people. I'm going to tell you why. Number one, their life is filled with boring experiences. Howard. I sat there and I listened, when Richard. there were no cars. Howard. Yeah, Howard. Fascinating. <laughs> oh, wait, so there were no cars. So you walked. Big deal. Howard. Any moron could do that. Howard. There were no cars because so there were no cars. What do I got to hear for two hours about there were no cars? And, uh, 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 Howard. And, what did, and what did they leave me? And what, Richard, Mr. Pacino, please, what did they leave me? Let me say something. I, okay, my grandparents left me nothing. <laughs> Maybe okay, they didn't nothing. have a lot. Oh, excuse me, one grandfather gave me a ring and the other one gave me about 200 bucks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And uh, I, I hocked the diamond in the ring. <laughs> Honest to God, I did. Howard, you were just so irreverent. It was worth about $400. Yeah. Okay, so the total from my own flesh and blood, $600. It's not the money. It's the thoughts and the love they gave you. And I think that's bad. Your mother's changing her will right now. <laughs> oh, I, I don't expect any better. That's why I'm throwing her in an old age home. I'm going to let Richard exercise her because I'm going to tell you something. My mother is never going to leave me a dime. What's going to happen is my father's going to drop dead. Because he's so backed up from not getting any sex, and what's going to happen is he's going to he's going to have a coronary. Mr. Pacino, listen to this, Mr. Pacino. We're going to go do story. a novena later. Listen to this, <laughs> Mr. Pacino. Listen to me. He's going to drop dead. She's going to take the money and donate it to charity. That's what my mother's going to do. That's a very nice yeah. thing. Oh, that's lovely. There'll be nothing left for me and my you, sister. You make your own career. You make your own money. Now yeah, tell, oh, great. Tell the people. Great, yeah. That's, tell that to the Kennedys. Let me say something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something, what's going to happen in my life, because you might as well know. Ow. Don't throw a knife at me. Anyway, where are you going this afternoon? We're okay. going to the center this afternoon, and then at 4.30, read to where we're going to be. How much do you pay for that? Nothing. Oh, okay. Absolutely. I think that's a good point to make. It's we charitable. No, we go around every... Although Mr. Pacino receives a nice stipend, right? <laughs> no, no. no, no Mr. Well, how does Richard write that off? I don't what? Know. Right? What off? I think Mr. Pacino's going there just to pick up babes. Yeah. Quite yeah <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Pacino has a very lovely girlfriend, really? and he is totally monogamous, and he does not cheat on her. Really? Well, let me him. tell you something, really? Mr. Pacino. If I could say, you look marvelous. No, no, I don't mean that. <laughs> you look. You look. If I was to pay attention, I'd say you're about forty years old. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God, thank you. Honest to God, and the man is sixty-five years yeah. old. And your son is a great actor. Thank you. Oh, anyway, <laughs> now <today>. Richard. Richard. <laughs> you see Mr. Pacino <laughs> naked? Pardon me, stop it. Oh, oh now, you know, He's another there, uh, dirty joke. <laughs> Nothing is sacred with you. Nothing at all. You guys ever exercise those old people in the nude? <laughs> oh, now, stop it. Hey, all you, you know, people Jim, at the Miko Center, get ready to take your clothes off. It's going to be a naked, a naked exercise group. You know, Jim Kerr doesn't treat me like this. <laughs> Jim Kerr's a moron. He is not a moron. He says lovely things. He's the biggest. There. Stop that, Howard! Stop it! Or I'll leave if you don't give me that tape. Oh, hey, Robin, Richard. tell Richard about the time, and tell Mr. Pacino. When you get to be remember that time, you remember I was that in the little old lady. Let me tell you something. I was oh. in the limo, right, and I was rushing off to work because obviously I'm a very busy man. And uh, Robin and I were in the back of the car. This better be a nice story. It is. It is. This okay. woman. The only one. I'm walking out of this clothing store, getting into the car. I see this woman. Old, old woman. We were already in the car. It's raining. She slips in the rain. No. Falls to her knees. And everyone's walking by her, right? And you got out? Not yet. Oh. I said to Robin, look, 
You got to Robin. I said, Robin, no, <laughs> Robin, car, Robin went her. right in the car. And I said to Robin, you think I should go out and help her? She's me while laying there in the rain. I said, I said, you think there's something wrong with her? You don't remember she's a mental case. You never know. Stop it. So, uh, you know, how many people, you know, you fall down, you can't get up. So uh, we debated for about five minutes. Oh, five minutes. Well, we, wait, we were she hoping. She could have died and drowned. Drive around there on the so ground. So we were hoping for minutes. someone to come yeah, pick her up. There were people walking by. So I finally said, I'm going to go out in the rain. I go out. I pick the woman up. I go, what's wrong with you? She says, oh, oh my goodness, I fell down. I want to go home. She starts crying. Starts crying to me. we thought. She goes, oh, I want to go home. I want to go home. I said, okay, I got the limo. Woman, obviously, here in Manhattan, I'll give her a ride. I said, where do you live? She goes, I want to go home to Queens. I said, Queens. <laughs> and I you said, took Queen. her home. No, I, I, said, I, said, I said, get a cab, and I sent her off. I'm sorry. I feel guilty get about that cab, to this day. Lady. You're horrible. I know, I know. You're just horrible. That's why you don't want me going to the old age home. No, I think it would change. Uh, I, I think it that. would soften you, and I think really? it, would, it would make you see that there's so many seniors in the New York City area that no one cares about, and that uh. they don't treat them with good respect. Uh, I do treat all people with respect, but I swear to God, I got so burned with grandparents not leaving us anything. I'm I'm just so sick no, of the whole affair. No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. You <laughs> I make, really am. Sick wait a minute. You make what? a lot of money, and it really doesn't really I make really a big make difference if yeah. if it someone nice. leaves you money. Yeah, they left you their good thoughts and their love. Because yeah, you right. know what? A lot of it's like the, the nuns. You know the nuns and the priests in the Catholic religion. A lot of them are gay, you know. Stop it! <laughs> what? Stop Some it! Want to talk about it? No, wait a minute. No, yeah. s let me tell you this. Wait, it was in the magazine there's, yesterday. There's no money for a lot of them, and they have to be just like put in homes. Well, Do you nuns? know what their average salary is a year when they're working? It's yeah. something like thirteen hundred dollars a year. Yeah, and the Vatican's got more money than oh. God. Now, see, that's right. the only thing. That just, so who are you going to blame for that? That gripes me. If I, I think that right. we should go to the Vatican, get all those jewels, and sell Absolutely. them, Melt and help this down. church. I really do. I'm really sad about that. You better that. watch Mr. Pacino's getting upset with you. <laughs> because, no, it's true. Because when you, when you go to Rome and you go to the Sistine Chapel, there are so many little kids hungry and very thin, not having anything to eat. And you walk in the Sistine Chapel and there's 40, $44 billion worth of jewelry in there. Mm -hmm. And I think that you know we should sell some of it and help the nuns and the priests. Hey, go tell the Pope that. He'll want to hear that from you. Hold on, this is Richard. Hey, Richard, this is the Pope. What's happening, baby? Hey, sell the uh, sell the uh, jewels in the Vatican. Hey, look, leave me alone. I'm listening to my Stones records right now. All right, uh, no, don't no, bug me. Huh? No, I think I'm that gonna, I think we should take. You come here, we'll party. We'll listen to some Stones records. No, I You're think not gonna sell the jewels and give it to the old people. You're I think, out of your I, mind. but no, but I think that's what should be done. You I do? hate to see people who don't have anything to eat or don't have any any clothes or yeah, they have nice no place to sleep. They don't have a weight yeah, problem. Yeah, they don't have a weight problem. That's what I'm saying. Nice and trim. <laughs> you are both <laughs> just off. No heart attacks. Let me say some. No heart attacks. Low colesterol. But let me say something. Richard Simmons really is doing something. He's great. a wonderful man. And I really man. do he believe gives, in what he's gives, doing. Gives. And, and I, I want to believe in Mr. Pacino even more than Richard. Yeah. <laughs> because really... number one, Mr. Pacino has a very happy son. <laughs> My God, if I could just get close to him, I swear to God, uh... I would be his best friend. Believe me, I wouldn't bother him too much. Al Pacino is a very private person. That's he is. Why you don't see him out in all the newspapers no. and hey, all the talk shows. I bet you your son's angry. You're going around on all these talk shows. He probably don't even like that. No, he lo he's very proud of it his was father. Just, you would just have to see the looks of the people. People, when we go, we go to the different places and exercise with them. They're so happy to see us, yeah. and that we exercise together. We do a whole class with them, and it's really terrific. Well, you're in and good we shape. About ages uh, in the 80s as well, and uh, getting out there and they're doing it. And you should see Rich's mother, 70, almost 76 years old, and she's right in there. Well, Mr. Pacino, quite frankly, if th this this is a testimony to yeah. exercise, I mean, look at the man. He looks. Have young. you exercised all your life? Yes. Oh, you have. There? Mr. Pacino you owns a restaurant and a, a dancing club, and hundreds. He has all. He has a band that plays all fifties and sixties music, huh? and he dances hours every night. Well, well that'll of, keep you in shape. Yeah. Most of my exercise is dancing, truthfully. Yeah. I saw a picture of Gudinov with his shirt off the other day, man. Is that guy in some shape from dancing? Oh, Just from dance dancing. is an incredible. Just from incredible dancing. Incredible exercise. Yeah, I might start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch oh. me tap. Want to see me tap? Oh, you do any tap, Mr. Pacino? No, no. Hey, watch it. Put a little there, music there on there. A little, little soft shoe. Yeah, there, here's a little music. Here, I'll do this. Hey, watch this. <laughs> One, two, <laughs> two. This is so bad. Oh, oh. nothing, oh. nothing oh. is sacred. Oh. Absolutely oh. nothing. Oh. oh. Stop oh. that, that? Howard! Stop oh. it, <laughs> Howard! Wait, we got a break for commercial. I didn't know it was that good. <laughs> oh, my breath. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a workout. What a, oh, workout. what a workout that is. <laughs> I love it. But let me say something. Richard Simmons is one of the most giving He's people. He's a fantastic person. Yeah. 
He only gave me four champagne glasses for uh, Christmas. But <laughs> he gave is me one nothing. Of... I'm really upset. Yeah, but is, uh... I wanted to thank you, Howard, but I can't catch my breath. Then. I know. You could keep up with me. <laughs> By the way, I can't believe you led and I played the girl. <laughs> but let me just say something. Richard Simmons really deserves the Nobel Peace Prize. Then yeah. will you will you come because with me then to 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 the uh, Amiga? What do I home? look like, Mother Teresa? <laughs> I'm not going out there, Mother Teresa. I got to meet her once. Oh, really? She's she was she, the, when you just looked at her, there was something so holy about her. I really like her clothes. No, stop it! <laughs> that woman doesn't smile much. Well, know. she doesn't have any teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. There are a lot of people who don't have teeth don't smile. That's right. There's, there's nothing. There's, it's you know. not that attractive, is what it is. <laughs> not a pretty sight. Even the mother hey, wants to look nice. Get over here. Yeah, all right. You're looking at the clock here. All right. Do tell. you have to go? Pardon me. You're looking at the clock here. Do you have another appointment? Clock here. We can. We, I can. We can stay 15 more minutes. With 15 you more minutes. I'm going to go say goodbye to David Hartman. Uh, what do you mean? I'm gonna, well, today is his last day. Are you on. supposed to drop in? No, no, I'm just, uh, he's a friend, so I'm just... Yeah, he's some friend. No, he is, he's very, and he does a lot of charity work with me, too. He's, he does? Yeah, he's a very nice man, so I'm going to just uh, go and just give him sure, a Sure, he can afford to do charity work. What kind of rough lifestyle does he have? Just an hour in the morning, then all day he's got free. No, wait a minute. And he makes $2 million dollars a year. No, that's not true. Anybody can do it. set for life. Richard says, why don't you go to the old age home? I'll tell you why. After getting up at 4 in the morning today, i got to go into a meeting with the, 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 you know, the people here. Then i got another meeting with a guy from the coast today. Mm -hmm. i got to exercise, of course. And uh, I got a lot to do. Maybe you should make time for someone else besides, besides yourself, yourself Howard. Yeah, yeah, let's take a little break. We'll come back and take some phone calls. We'll take a break right now, and then we'll come back with some phone yeah. calls. So don't go away! <laughs> da -da. Your son was so scary in that movie, Mr. Oh, Pacino. Oh, boy, yeah. What a great actor he is. When he told Diane Keaton, I'll let you ask me about the business just once, just this one time. Oh. It was pretty, it was a it great was movie. awesome, yeah. Yeah. He only does like, he doesn't come out with like nine movies a year. The man has, does quality movies. Even his last movie. Yeah, but he's a multimillionaire. Pardon me? He's a multimillionaire. Now, why do we have to talk about money? <laughs> why not? He Mr. Can Prada, that's, to be selective. Money is the measure of success. No, that's not it true. It doesn't mean much to him. It doesn't, it doesn't oh. so it doesn't really doesn't. give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me if you don't want it, but there's two, it, there's two DJs he can the, unload it on. It was not the motivation in this case. Well, I know. He's a real serious dude, man. I wouldn't He's mess a with serious him. actor. He's a he used to tell me, Dad, they, they don't know I would do it for nothing. When he collapsed, when he collapsed into that pile of cocaine and Scarface, and uh, then at the end when he was, shot, uh, oh man, this is Tony Montana. <laughs> I love that movie. He was great. And when he, Tony Montana and that um, that friend of his. You know, I have listened to you so much, and I have never seen you kiss somebody's ass so much in hey, my lifetime. I'm thinking Mr. Pacino's going to have I me mean, over. I mean, I come in here, and I just get dirt all over me, and Mr. Pacino walks in, and you all practically hey. kneel down and recite everything from The Godfather and from Scarface. Well, what do you expect? Do you, ask, you expect me to estimate his penis size? Oh, now stop! I'm trying Howard, to get some respect. Oh, my God! I can't... Go oh, my God! <laughs> Mr. Pacino, I'm sorry. I don't know how oh, they oh, found God. out about it, but I am sorry. <laughs> How did you see him naked? Uh, Pardon me? I never good. saw Mr. Pacino naked. Yeah, you well. keep making these signs behind <laughs> <the> <laughs> <laughs> how big is how big is David Hartman? Now stop! Oh, I can't believe it. Nothing is uh, sacred. All right, let's have phone calls. Okay. Before you guys leave. All right. Good morning. This is Philadelphia, by the way. We're talking to right now. Hello. Well, who's this? Hi, this is Richard. Who's this? Oh, Richard. How the hell are you? What is your name? My name's Eddie. Richard, Eddie. Richard. Just a moment. If you yelled out the out the window, you could reach as many people. Eddie. You uh -huh. can talk quietly. Eddie. Eddie. What'd you have for breakfast? What do I have for breakfast? Oh, don't start in with this. Cream. What? Cream of wheat with a little bit of sweet and roll. That's how good for your bowels. Now stop it. How is how is the weather in Philadelphia? Uh, it's beautiful. You know? Oh, I was just really there. Nice. I was just there to see Teddy Pendergrass. Let the guy ask a question. See oh. Teddy Pendergrass? Yes. 
How's you're not doing? making him exercise. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> What's he going to do? T- oh, no, don't say that. I'm not making a joke. You can't exercise a guy who's uh, he's, he's in a wheelchair. Yes, but I exercise people in wheelchairs. You do? I have five studios now in L.A. Oh, and all so I, busy? That's and I work right. only with people who are... People use the word handicap or disabled, and I use the term physically challenged. You and, and Donahue. Wait a second. And we have... And who we are you, have, Donahue now? No, but we have studios free of charge for anybody with a disability. Well, that's good. That's I like right. that. So, how are you doing today? Robin there. Goes to Philadelphia. Robin's to right here. Teddy Pendergrass. Oh, you know, you can't say anything about any group that Richard hasn't helped. Yeah. Oh, he's, 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 <laughs> he's going to heaven. Here, take this take this knife, take this bagel knife, and just pierce my heart, okay, Howard? Uh, I know, believe me, when you go home, you must do something real weird. Yeah, what is he making up for? No, no I, I'm yeah, there's not making get, up. There's something you're real embarrassed about. No. <laughs> I'm telling you. Just, you know, just because Joan of Arc was my great, great, great grandmother, it's passed on. Eddie? Yeah, you want okay, to talk to Robin? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you have a question. Robin? Yes. If you're as beautiful as your voice, you've got to be a knockout. Well, well I am, I am. She's, no. she's, <laughs> she's half Melba Moore. Is Jackie the Joke Man there? No, sir, what is this? Is, a, he, uh, is he as beautiful as his voice? Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he sort of reflects his voice. Listen, sir, I don't want to sit here and find out who's here and who isn't. Yeah. You're on the We're air. all here. We're all here. Hello? Man with a gas problem didn't eat whole wheat for breakfast. He was taking attendance. That's it. Hello. <laughs> Hello, your honey. <laughs> Here, present. Jackie the Joke Man, present. It's like the Mickey Mouse Club. A cubby, present. Hello. 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 Good morning. Hi. How are you? Who's this? It's Ralph. My name's Gary. Gary. Yeah. Gary. How are you, Gary? Oh, Lord, why don't you yell out the window? Gary's. Tr- I just want to talk. Where you are you? got a microphone. Is this from Philadelphia or New York? New York. So, are you having a nice morning? Sure. Are you having a nice morning? Richard, this is telephone. He can hear you if you just talk. <laughs> I don't know why they're picking on me today. I mean, I don't know why. I, I said my prayers. I took my shower. So, do you, li- do you listen to Howard a lot? Every day on the way home. We're on the way home? Yeah, every day on the way home. What? Hey, wait, here, Richard. Here's a microphone. Help. Oh! I can't. Mr. Pacino. Oh, I didn't know. Mr. Pacino, we're leaving. I we, say. Mr. Pacino. Oh. Mr. Pacino. Oh. We've had enough. Yeah, let's go. I want to go to deals. You shit. Stop it, Howard. Now wow. stop it. You're going to go to deals, Mr. Pacino? Yeah, I want to get a suit. Oh, no kidding. Good for you. Well, let me say, by the way, it's a nice suit you're wearing. It's ultra suede. Yeah, very nice. Very snappy dresser. Well, we have to leave. At least he's wearing pants, Richard. <laughs> uh, Richard, do I, you own I ran. Pants? I ran. You this always morning. come. Sans pants. I, I ran this morning. And he just buys run. the stripes in different colors. I guess. The <laughs> We're in the same shorts for two weeks. I've had these shorts for nine years. Well, so Richard, you one were... pair. So Richard, you were saying. I wanted to say. I wanted to say thank you for having Mr. Pacino and I on the show. Well, let me just say and it's I... an honor that you brought Mr. Pacino. I yeah. wanted to meet your lovely mother. I'm sorry she can't get up this early in the morning. No, she's she's at another radio station. Oh, is she no. really? Yeah. What station is she at? She's at Jim Kerr's. Oh, oh God. No. I don't make peace. That must love, be some interview. He's a lovely man. Didn't you want people to hear your mother this morning? Why did you yeah. bring her here? Well, she was a little nervous to come here because okay, I brought her. Jerk. My mother. My mother likes to hear a tape of uh, of the people she's going to. So I taped Howard, <laughs> and, and I sent it to my mother, and my mother went. Do you really want me to go on that show? Yeah, but Mr. Pacino, you bring on the show. Well, Mr. Pac- I know. Well, we warned Mr. Pacino. Yeah. And, he and loves this and stuff. look at no. how nice we I were do. to him. <laughs> yeah, you were so nice very to him. Nice. To well, him, you were nice. You well, because uh, I want to network myself with him and his son. Thanks for having us, Howie. <laughs> yeah. Let me say something, Thank Richard. You. If I can say something, Mr. Pacino. First of all, Mr. Pacino, you are an absolute pleasure. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I'm sorry. you were a little noisy, but <laughs> I could barely get a word in edgewise with you, Mr. Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> and let me say something. Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons is unbelievable. We'd like to know what he's doing that he's covering up for. He still <laughs> hasn't come clean about I'm going to get over to your house, man, sometime. I just think, you know what, Howard? Yeah. You were in L.A. and you never came to my house. But anytime, I was there for a night. Anytime you were there, I would love you to come and I would make a nice locale dinner and you can meet all my Dalmatians. I raised Dalmatians. Oh, yeah. yeah, you sent me a Christmas card with your Dalmatians. Yeah, and, I live, yeah, yeah. and I live in the old Going to Win house and you can you could stay there. I have an extra suite. And you How can much is your there. house worth? Two million dollars? 
<laughs> Curious. <laughs> What kind of money have you made off this exercise business? It's, it's not important. This is some business. Let me. Because I would love to be doing what he's doing. I want to you travel around the country with Al Pacino's and, father. And all you have to do is get a pair of striped shorts. Yeah. And every day you can go in in your life. Let me and see help, you make a muscle. Make a muscle. And help other people. Let me see. I got a bigger bicep. But oh, look no. at his legs. Show look him your legs. His legs are very muscular. Look at that. That yeah. is a very nice bicep. It's a little pale looking. It looks like yeah, a wow. fish bicep. Well, we all can't go to suntan parlors. Oh, like really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying out for the Eddie Murphy story. I tell you. One more shave. <laughs> anyway, thanks for having us on, and we're going right. to be in New York. Richard Simmons. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. Ciao, Pacino. Two great guys, man, who yeah. really know how to exercise those old people. Thank you. Very Have fun people. while you're here. All right. Uh, we'll be back after these.